you're afraid to go into parts of downtown Portland, you're certainly not the only one. But now Mayor Sam Adams has a plan to clean up the problem areas. He calls Old Town and Chinatown hot zones for drug dealing and drug use. And people with drug convictions, he says, should be kicked out. k two's Anna Canzano is live in Old Town. Anna, just about everybody you spoke with today likes the idea. Yeah, especially the businesses. I mean, they're very happy to see an increased police presence like this mobile precinct, the central precinct just set up this afternoon here. But what a lot of people really are hoping for is long-term change. This is someone just purchasing their crack cocaine. Howard Weiner isn't proud of the photo snapped no, near his skateboard shop in Old Town, but they do make the point, open and brazen drug transactions in the middle of the day. Somebody essentially showing these what they look like is white rocks and folks picking out whichever one they wanted and then doing a money exchange. And shortly thereafter he'd have someone right outside his business smoking their newly acquired product. A three decade long business owner in Portland, Weiner says he's never seen it this bad. Literally at four, five, six in the morning you, you, would, you would see uh, on Flanders Street in particular up to, up to 40 folks uh, dealing and using crack cocaine. God forbid we haven't had any armed robberies, but you know that's the next step. It's crack being sold every day down here. Heroin, crack, all that. It needs to stop because of the little babies. Lloyd Johnson is a recovering addict with 10 months clean. He says it's almost impossible to walk in Old Town without being approached by dealers or by someone who may hurt you. I mean, you don't mind help them if they're trying to help themselves, but when they get to the point to where they're trying to rob you, this one will slow you down, this one will come and pull a knife on you. You know, you, they just stand around, and that shouldn't be like that. Hoping for change. Today is, is a new day. From different perspectives. And the other thing that Mayor Adam wants to do, he would like to cut a check of up to $200,000 to the DA's office out of city money. He says that would help pay for a prosecutor to just focus on drug crimes in these high-impact zones, as he's calling them. He also wants to pay for the overtime for more cops just to be walking along the streets. Back to you. So, Anna, when would these changes take place? Well, apparently uh, Mayor Adams will be taking his proposal before the rest of the city council in the next couple of weeks. So we'll see where it goes from there. You'll keep us updated. Anna, thank you.